Hi guys, I'm Becky and my channel is What Beck Sews and today we're doing a Friday Sews. So for those of you that don't know, Friday Sews is a hashtag that most people post under um, on a Friday, obviously, where they talk about what they've been up to, what their plans are, have an opportunity to have a general chit chat, created by Jen from today in Jen's sewing room and yeah, it's that so many people are posting under this. Most of you will probably know what this is. Most of you probably watch Friday Sews, as I know a lot of you watch mine. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the huge amount of subscribers I've had um, in the last week. It's wonderful to have you on board, so welcome to my channel, and I hope you enjoy my content. Normally you would see me looking a lot more fresh-faced than I currently do, um, so that leads me on to the next thing, a general health update, just because I know a few of you have been asking how I'm doing. And I am improving. Um, I've got a little while to go before I get there and I've got a lot more tests being done. Um, but I am getting there. I have been back working this week, granted on a part-time basis. And I think for the next few weeks, I'm going to be on a reduction of hours. But it does mean I'm getting plenty of time to get the rest in that I need and to do a little bit of sewing to occupy my mind. But it has been really nice to be intellectually challenged again this week, I must admit, and get back on with my coursework too. So enough about the health. Let's talk about um, what I've been up to this week. So I have got a couple of sewing makes to show you. Um, this thing here that you can see hanging lovely next to me in this beautiful Zara um, dead stock fabric is something I started back in January. In fact, I'd done the majority of the sewing on this. I just needed to stick this bottom tier on and I needed to hem it. Um, I think when I posted originally and shared with you the top half of this dress, which is the Davenport dress by Friday Pattern Company, um, I'd mentioned that this fabric was so beautiful but so slippy to work with. And Sarah from Naughty Gnome Craft, had popped a note on my um, comments to say starch spray game changer so I went ahead and ordered some I ordered a dial on one and um, didn't just order one I ordered a pack of 12 for some reason um, but I do work with viscose quite a lot and actually oh my god is a game changer it made sewing some of the difficult parts on this dress, like the channel um, and just, yeah, just general hemming, um, just made it an awful lot easier and just gave the fabric a little bit of structure and completely changed the texture from what I was working with originally. So I'm going to show you this dress um, so you can see. So this is the Friday Pattern Company Davenport dress. It's got a pull cord in the middle where it just cinches it in nicely on your natural waistline. It has an elasticated neck, so you can just pop your head through so you don't need any fastenings on the back. The original pattern has a frill on the sleeve, I leave that off, and it also has a frill bottom where I've left that off as well. I've just enclosed with the elastic to give me more of a billowy sleeve effect, which I like. And normally this dress, I would say, comes just below the knee on me anyway. Um, but what I've done is I've added a longer third tier. Sorry, it hurts to lift this up a little bit. So let me see if I can do it a bit better. So it's much longer than the one in the pattern. Um, so you can see there. And I've kind of, I think I've doubled the length on that to make this more of a maxi dress for me. I'll probably say it's a mid-axi dress. So I'll pop in some footage here so you can see me wearing this. It's a really lovely sew. I absolutely find it, love Friday Pattern Company patterns. I find them really straightforward. Most of the patterns have a video tutorial on Chelsea's channel, on the Friday Pattern Company channel, where she walks you through the whole process. But to be fair, you can do this from their instructions. But if there is a bit you're struggling with, that tutorial is always really handy to go and have a look at. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Although the majority of this was made up at the end of January, and I know some of you have seen the top half of this before, it's got a very 70s vibe to it. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm looking forward to being in a position where I'm able to wear some of these clothes that I'm making again, because I am desperate to don my red lippy and uh, put on some nice clothes where I'm not just lounging around the house. So yeah, that is my first thing that I got finished up this month. So let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments box. Um, the next thing I have started is working through some of my so frugals. Now I'm not planning on sharing um, a so frugal make throughout the month because I'm gonna do a big reveal at the end of the month. 
but I did want to talk through this one. I am going to show you this one because I'm a little bit uncertain about it. So this is the LOE skirt, um, which is the pattern from Sew Magazine. And it's a gathered skirt um, with a simple waistband. It's got a side zip. I haven't put the hook and eye on yet. Um, and it has a hook and eye that goes on here just to keep that top bit nice and closed. Um, I'll put some footage in of me wearing it. And the reason that I want your opinion is this skirt, I don't know whether it complements my figure or not. I don't know whether to shorten it, whether that would help or make it feel more complementary or whether not to make it up. I used this fabric, which was one of the ones that I said I'd try um, because I also had the Lady McElroy cotton lawn that was the same in the picture of the uh, model in the sew magazine. And I really liked the look of making that. So I thought before I cut into that lovely expensive fabric that I got for my birthday last year, let's twirl it in a much less expensive cotton poplin that I got from Pound Fabrics. Now I do like it. It's lovely and it is a really easy make, um, but I'm just not sure whether it's 100% me or not. Or maybe it's the fact that it is quite a garish fabric, but I like a garish fabric. So I actually really like this fabric. I don't know. Maybe if I made it in a viscose, it might be a little bit lighter, might flow a little bit better. The Lady McElroy fabrics are cotton lawn, so even that has a little bit more drape than the poplin does. I'm not sure, so your opinions would be gratefully received. What I will say for anybody that is actually planning on making this pattern up, so mag instructions aren't brilliant. They certainly don't hold your hand. There's no illustrations. So you do need a little bit of experience, I would say, of knowing how a garment is constructed. And especially for this pattern, because they've left out the gathering bit on it. So I followed the instructions to a T, came to put this waistband on, and I was like, oh, something's not right here have I not cut it or was I supposed to cut two or because you cut this waistband in one length um and then as I started you know playing with the waistband around your waist and doing all the bits that you do I very quickly realized that it was just an error and the gathering had been missed out so I went in and put the gathering in and it's all come together quite nicely so that is the second thing I got twirled up is my um Ella Louise skirt from the Sew Mag magazine, which is a free pattern um, that I am looking at to enter into Sew Frugal. Maybe not this one, but I'm looking to enter into Sew Frugal. But it is a good basic skirt. And then the final thing that I got made up this week is this gorgeous patina blouse. So this is the patina blouse by Friday Pattern Company. Isn't it pretty? So I got this fabric from um, Crystal from my social thread. She had a D stash going on. I saw this, I absolutely fell in love with it. And funnily enough, I've mentioned that whilst I've been off ill, I've been re-watching all the sewing bees. And last week when I was cutting this out, or um, back end of last week when I started cutting this out, um, I was watching the um, latest series and Brogan, as I was cutting this out, was wearing this same fabric and she'd made a Bakerloo dress out of it. So I've gone with the low cut neck top here and um, I have gone with, instead of the cuffs, I've done an elasticated cuff on it because I like to push my, you can see it now, I push my sleeves up nine times out of ten. Obviously when I'm cold I'll pull them back down but when you've got a cuff on there you can't do that so I put an elasticated cuff on. But other than that I've made no other amendments. I have now dropped a size in my... Um, I've now dropped a size in my um, Friday Pattern Company's um, size range. So this is made in a large rather than when I was making things in an extra large. So at least my weight loss is coming along nicely. And this is just beautiful. I keep moving around, but it's because I'm conscious that I'm going to put some footage in of me wearing it. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this make. I think it's just absolutely stunning. It's got the green and the pinks that I'm loving at the moment. And again, it's another make that I really can't wait to get back to work and wear. Because this would look lovely paired with a skirt or paired with a pair of trousers. But I think this is also one that I could definitely pair up with jeans as well. Um, and I think that would look quite nice um, if I'm ever allowed to socialise again to go back out and see friends with and just pop that on um i'm hoping to i'm going to the creative craft show next weekend um in birmingham um and i was originally going on friday but because i'm being phased back into work i'm thinking about oh well i was going to cancel that day's holiday but then with the news that i got from the gp yesterday it's very much like you can't socialize so i'm thinking i still want to go um 
and I'm going to meet on the Saturday, hopefully meet the lovely Adele from Sofa Serenity. Um, but I might have to just take a few extra precautions of making sure I wear a mask and, um, and just bits and bobs like that stuff that you wouldn't have to do normally but just to avoid um so to social interaction where i could come in contact with any other bugs so i don't you know completely wipe myself out if i was to catch anything else but i really want to go because i have saved some money for fabric and i want to go and buy fabric and i have been stuck in this house now for a month and i think it's about time to get out so i've got another week another week of starting to feel better hopefully i'll be driving in another week um so yeah i'm really hoping that there's no reason why i can't attend that so let's talk about plans for this coming week i have the hinterland dress pattern that i got this month in my all set to sew subscription box from little miss so and so managed to get that all out in one go never usually can um i had the i subscribed to the luxury box and um if you've been following me for a little while you know that i've signed up to this and i've been doing this alongside my so Haley jane with the idea that i will actually make a decision to cut one and keep one because they're both 65 pound a month and obviously i subscribe to them i pay for them i'm not affiliated with any of them so um i'm really enjoying the all set to sew box i must admit i've been um last month this is my second one that i've received last month I didn't like the patterns that came with them so I chose a um, stretch pattern that I thought I might adapt at some point but wasn't that interested in making but I really wanted the cozy colours fabric and because of the value for money in it it was definitely well worth getting and I made the Stella jogger set out of that so that fabric is being worn all the time um, and I really feel like I've got my money's worth out of the, the box as a subscription box. This month I really liked both patterns actually, it was quite difficult to make a choice between the two. But I went for the woven pattern which was the hinterland dress because it's one that I have been looking to make up for a very long time. And the fabric I chose with this month's subscription box was the Lady McElroy Lola fabric and I'll try and pop a picture in here because it is downstairs at the moment. And um, I I was watching Sofa Serenity, so Adele, um, her All Set to Sew um, reveal unboxing um, is brilliant. If you haven't seen them or you're not interested in the subscription box ones, it's a really good watch on her channel because she shows you, yes, the email coming through. She shows you her choosing and she talks you through her process of thought with why she's choosing which pattern. And then she talks about why she's choosing that fabric. Um, and it's always nice to see somebody else's thought process on that. And then she um, takes you through the unboxing, which is really nice. I've got this, and although I know what I've got coming, this is what's in it. And these are all the free goodies you get with it. And then she shows you the reveal and does a pattern review. So you get to hear not only about the actual subscription itself, but you get to hear about the pattern and she goes into quite a lot of detail. And when I watched it the other day, I was like, I've got that, I really need to get on with making it. And I've been dubious with the sizing on mine because yes, I have lost weight. My measurements, if I look at the finished garment measurements because of the ease that's in the pattern, would put me in a 12. Now I have been a little bit unsure about which size, whether to go for the 12 or the 14, because I don't like a hugely oversized look and I thought the 12 probably would be the better option to get that fitting around the bust because there's still plenty of ease on the hips but then I have got a bust and although my measurements put me there um, I also don't want it being tight or pulling across here so I've been really unnarring I've traced out the pattern because usually I'm a pattern cutter and I hate tracing um, so I've traced out the pattern in a size 12 to give it a go and I'm just debating whether to twirl it or actually just make it up in the Lady McElroy fabric. It is a fabric hungry, hungry pattern as well. So there's part of me going, if I twirl it in another fabric that's very similar, it's probably, because I do like most of the fabrics I have. I haven't got anything that I would really say I don't like. Like using this, for example, as a twirl, um, I really like this fabric. And, you know, I'd be gutted if I can't make this work for me. So yeah, I'm a little bit dubious about what to do because it'd be about three and a half metres of fabric going into that. So I might just go with the Lola. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm still on a weight loss journey. I'll fit into it eventually. So yeah, 
that's that's where my thoughts are at with it so that is the first plan i've got because i've been told i know i'm doing reduced hours this week and depending on what the occupational health provider at work says um depends on how my phase return goes back in um so i might have a bit of time on my hands even though i'm starting to really improve um i still have to take it easy so i'm but I, with the sewing what i can do is i can go so sit back down have an hour go back to it as i get uncomfortable and as i'm dealing with with everything going on so yeah it's it's nice to have that opportunity so i am going to get another few makes done hopefully this week um i have the so frugal pattern plans so i've got all of them delivered through the door because i'm not in the office i've not been able to print off the a4 sheet which is really frustrating because normally I'd go to the office and I'd print off something and then sit and piece it together and do all of that. So I started piecing together one of the A4s yesterday, um, which is one of the bottom garments that I'd suggested. Obviously, I'd pieced together my Ella Louise one as well. Um, and all of my Tiana's Closet ones have been delivered. So I do really want to give one of those patterns a go. I know I'm teasing you. I will show you them, um, whichever one I decide to make, which is probably going to be the ruffle neck top. She says, as it's sewing outside, it's sewing outside. It's definitely not sewing outside. That'd be fun. Snowing outside. Um, but I really want to see how her sizing is on it. And I'd like to, because I know that this particular pattern um, maker is new to a lot of people from the comments that I've had on the So Frugal blog. Um, I'd really like to give it a go and be able to talk to you about it. So if you are tempted by it, you've still got time to make something up and uh, get it done to enter into So Frugal and I think you'd quite enjoy hearing that. So I think that's the one that I'm going to go for this week and sit and painfully piece together all of the pattern. Um, it also happens to be the smallest amount. I think there's only like 15 pages to that one so that's not too bad. So that is another plan for this week. And finally if I get the chance to I'm going to make another Marnie blouse. The Marnie blouse that I'm going to make is out of a fabric that I got from Pound Fabrics in a haul, um, I think the week before last. It's a gorgeous fabric that is in white. It's a perfect spring fabric. So I'm hoping that it will mix into some of the free patterns that I'm making up because I'm really starting to think about spring even though it's snowing, um, and what my wardrobe's going to look like. And I've identified a few pieces that I need in there for work. Um, and I'm kind of thinking about pieces that will interchange with some of the bottom halves that I'm making for So Frugal. So I've got a bit of a plan going at the moment, which is really nice. So I think that's it for my plans. Um, I think that's all I've got to talk to you about this week. I hope you all have a fantastic week and get the opportunity to get plenty of sewing done. I hope some of you are making some really good progress on Sew Frugal. If you like what you've seen today, don't forget to give this channel a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell because it will tell you when I release new content. Also, I will hopefully get back to filming my Sunday vlogs as well. Normally on a Sunday, or certainly as the year started out before my health got bad, I was doing um, set things for Sundays. You'll notice that I haven't done my So Hayley Jane unboxing because I just have not been well enough. You do a lot of filming, moving the camera around. Um, and I do my refashion, repurpose and recycle. Now I have done a couple of bits for that across the month that have been really simple and straightforward. So I'm thinking that I could actually share them and I've got a minor adjustment on another one. So that one won't be too strenuous. So hopefully I'll start getting to a point where I'm pu putting back out two vlogs a week. Um, and also before you all disappear off, just in case you're curious, I'm wearing the toaster sweater by So Hot 7. Um, I made this ages ago. I absolutely love this jumper. It's made out of this, um, wool jersey type thing that i got from so affordable fabrics it is definitely inexpensive but it washes really well it's not too rough on the skin and actually i just love the neckline on this i think it's absolutely stunning um, and it is probably one of my favorite but also a really comfy make especially when the weather is appalling outside happy sewing guys have a great week and i will catch you all soon bye